The category of today has to be coffee. And I know that coffee being like one of my personality traits is probably the most unoriginal thing in the world, but I've realized that I'm just gonna embrace it. I don't care. This is the only thing getting me through life. I don't think I'm addicted. I don't. Now, how does my phone and coffee correlate, you may ask? Well, I combined the two. I made them into the perfect little sandwich. I made it so that coffee is the main subject of this video, because I'm obsessed. I have a problem. And nobody's gonna take this away from me, okay? Because let me just say that they took away my nails. They did. The world, the universe took away my nails because I have a nail allergy to gel. What the frick? Yeah, I turned 24 and everything went downhill from there. But I'm fine. I'm just using all of my, my stuff as press-ons because look at how freaking cute these are. They're so freaking cute. So we've asked this question so many times before and I will gladly answer it every single time. What's on my iPhone? I'm about to tell you. I have so many secrets, okay? Because this hair is full of them and so is my phone. So I'm excited, I'm ready. I love what's on my iPhones because it reminds me of simpler days. Simpler days when I would just watch YouTube videos all freaking day. That was back when I didn't have a job and I loved it. It was a great time for me. Um, and now I need caffeine every morning in order to survive. Currently I'm slaying. <laughs> I just cringed at myself. Okay. Currently I am rocking the Bratz phone case. Okay. This was my day phone case, but, but here's the thing. Disclaimer. I'm doing a little bit of a disclaimer right here, right now, but to make it up to you, I do have a new phone case. And it's a loopy case, okay? So you can already tell what it is by the packaging, but yes, it's a cow print case. And the way I'm justifying this, okay, is the fact that some people drink their coffee with cow milk. Not me though, not me. By the way, Loopy did send me this phone case, but they're not like, they didn't, they just sent me it for funsies. This is so cute, I love it. This kind of looks like coffee, doesn't it, right? the little and let me just show you one thing one thing okay this is a candle it smells like a vanilla latte and I love it I've always wanted a coffee scented candle and my dreams just keep on coming true onto what's on my iPhone so this is my lock screen it's me and my boyfriend but there's also some coffee in there. There's like some cinnamon roll in the back. And then there's the Chicago theater. And of course the little widgets. I have a little heart. And then I have a little quote saying good things are coming because I have to repeat things in my head nonstop. And then I have this little coffee emoji kind of moment. And when you unlock it, immediately coffee, just in your face, right there, ready to go. That's exactly the color I like my coffee. And then I have another widget that just says, and suddenly the dream started chasing me. So inspirational. I know, this is the layout right now. It's boring. Of course, on my home screen, I have messages, I have calendar, clock, photos, camera, YouTube studio, which I'm always on, and Starbucks. You see? Yeah. She's on the front page. She is front and center because I use it absolutely every single day. My Nespresso is tired of me, is sick of me. My Nespresso watches me every single morning walk out the house without a coffee from it. And I feel guilty about that, I do. But there's just nothing like a good ice brown sugar shake and espresso. And then the folder name in the front is of course coffee croissant and a little sparkle because that is the most ideal breakfast ever. A croissant in the morning hits better than anything in the world, okay? I remember the first time I ate a croissant. Immediately, I saw, I saw the world differently. I did. Here's the number one app I recommend everyone, everyone, 
If you like to take pictures of yourself without asking anyone else to take pictures of you, because cause that's me, you need Lens Buddy. No work needed for your fingers. If you need a demonstration, here we go, here we go. It's good, it's great, it's a good app. If you ever were wondering how I edit my Instagram pictures, it's nothing special. There's nothing really pizzazzle about it. It's just one filter. <laughs> and it's from Prequel. This app has carried me for so long now. So as you guys can see, this is my morning coffee. That is my morning donut. And I use vision number three, this like filter right here. And it just adds a little, a little tiny bit of warmth to the picture. You know, it makes it look like I'm being hugged by the picture. I've got wallet so that I never have to carry my debit card with me. Throw that away. And then I've got notes. On the bottom, I just have the phone, the music, the Google, and Gmail. That's it. You know? The power four right down there. Onto the second page though, this is what it looks like. Plain and boring. <laughs> but do you see the iced coffee with the heart ice? It makes me want to go on Amazon and buy a heart mold, but I won't. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. So these are the apps. They're color coordinated, or at least I like to believe so. Some are mixed, some are jumbled, some are disgusting, but that is what it's supposed to be. First folder is the croissant one. We've got YouTube. Pinterest, which I designed my entire life off of this app. If you wanted to see what my homepage looks like right now, here it is. This is it. Very nice. Very pretty. Okay, so let me just let me just do this really fast. These are all the food apps I have. If there's a reward app, I've got it. If you're gonna give me free chips and salsa every single time I use the app, count me in. Count me freaking in. InShot is the app that I use to edit every single one of my TikToks, Instagram Reels, Shorts, all that fun stuff. Um, just to crop them down. It's a very simple kind of thing. Currently, right now, this is what it looks like. I was eating bread with cinnamon, sugar, and butter. And let me just tell you, that combination is... <coughs> then we have Target, which I can get lost in a Target right this second if we really wanted to, but... Here we are. And then I have Re Mini, which is what I use to just enhance every single one of my thumbnails because I want them to look crispy. I haven't been on AliExpress in so long and now I'm looking at the app and I'm realizing that I need to go back. It, it's fun on there. It's, it is. I've got Michaels because every once in a blue moon, I'm in a Michaels and I need their coupons. I have Etsy, which I like looking at things that people make with their hands. I've got 1010, which is one of my favorite games. I can I can be on this for hours. Hours, okay? Okay, back to what I was doing. Um, Walgreens. Very nice. All right, Instagram. Check it out. This is what I look like on there. If I ever in my life get the chance to be like an Instagram model. Can we just, can we just manifest that for me? Like, it probably won't be as good as like other, but it, but it would be something, you know? Klarna, because sometimes I really like to split up my payments. Podcast, which currently I've been listening to Digital Diary by Hannah Elise. I love that woman. I went to a Planet Fitness not too long ago. I used the app. Not too long ago, okay? It's been like four years, but I went the other day, like last month. HBO Max, Mercari, which sometimes just occasionally I sell phone cases on there. I have Twitch, even though I've never watched anyone live stream on there, but I just have it just in case. And then I have Alive, which let me just tell you, Whitney Simmons, she does the best workouts. I literally murdered my legs the other day like last month. I've got Credit Karma as a fellow adult. Hello. Yes, me. Episode for the drama. 
Bitmoji, which... When's the last time I used that app? Then I have Find My... I have Note It, which... Hello. As you guys can see, it just turns red like that and it bothers me so much. The aesthetics were there. Why are they doing this to me? I've got Snapseed, even though I don't ever use it. And then Hooji, which... This is fun. It just makes it look like you're using a disposable camera. I always forget that I have that app and I never use it. I've got Spotify even though I don't have an account, okay? I canceled my subscription. I was paying for Apple Music and Spotify for a long time. But guess who adulted not too long ago? Me. And then I have Twitter which I put a lot of thoughts on there, and I should stop. Then I have Chase, which is my preferred bank, Facebook, my AT&T, then I have Afterpay, which is another form of bougie on a budget, PayPal, Venmo, I got the MLB app. I've got a lot of apps, and I'm realizing that right now. Okay, I have Mail, Allstate, I've got the App Store, Files, Walmart, Stocks, which I cannot understand those numbers for the life of me. How am I supposed to invest? I'm, I'm an adult, but I'm not that adult, you know? And then I have Tumblr, because that is where the best Sims 4 CC is. Okay, so I don't use Snapchat, like ever. So it just sits there and stares at me. Then I have Home, Hopper, I've got Ulta Beauty, I've got books. Even though I don't like digital books personally, I just, I can't get into it. If I'm reading a book, it has to be physically in my hands or else it's just, it, I'm not reading it. I've got tic-tac-toe, I've got fetch, which for a while I was scanning in some receipts and stuff. I got bored. I've got the Instax printer, which automatically pulls out pictures for you without like you having to take the picture. It's like from your camera roll. I love it. I got the Illinois lottery. Cause one day I will win. I will. Next folder I have Facetune, which I haven't used in the longest time. Kind of want to delete the app. I think it's overrated, especially since you have to pay for so many things in order to like use it now. I, know, I... Then I have Indeed Jobs, because I'm always on the lookout. I've got Amazon Color Widgets, which is all over my phone, as you see. And then I have Google Maps, which I, I get lost very easily. I need a GPS everywhere I go, okay? I'm lost just thinking about leaving the house. Then Be Real, which I think that I am too old for this app. I feel like I can't understand it correctly, so I stopped using it. And I turned off the notifications so it didn't make me feel bad for not posting. So, there's that. Then I have settings. And then the last folder, I have Uber, Translates, TikTok, the biggest thing a part of my like everyday vocabulary is I've seen this on TikTok and I'm kind of tired of saying it. I've got Netflix, which I would like to talk to whoever, whoever's big idea was to take off New Girl. They're gonna take it off in like April or something. And I just wanna say that you're, you're ruining my mental health. That show is my safety net. That show is I've got Fitness, Measure, Calculator, Patreon, a Retouch, Wildflower, love them, CapCut, and then Compass Deluxe. I don't know why that's there. I have no idea where that app even came from, but here we are. I don't wanna pay for this. Stop. And then heading over to the little hidden slide kind of moment kind of vibe. Um, there's nothing over here, nothing good. Nothing flavorful, but I do have the calendar and then I have all of my little batteries because I'm always curious. And then I've been listening to the Sweetener Tour live. I like to pretend like I'm there. Like I'm right there singing with Ariana Grande. So, what do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I've got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button is down below. And if you want to see me on any other social medias, I'll have them right here for you. And I'll see you guys for the next video I do. 